judgment in the matter of Thaler against the Controller General of Patents, Designs and Trademarks. This Lord Kitchen will hand down the judgment. This appeal uh, concerns inventions made using artificial intelligence. Dr. Thaler, the appellant, is the owner of a machine called Dabas. He has made two applications to the UK Patent Office for the grant of patents for products and processes which are accepted for present purposes to be new and not obvious. These applications have a number of unusual features. One is that the inventions which the applications describe are said to have been generated by Dabas, acting autonomously and powered by AI. Another is that Dr. Thaler maintains that he's entitled to pursue the applications of the grant of the patents on the basis that he is the owner of the machine. He has made clear that he is not an inventor himself. It is not unusual for someone to apply for the grant of a patent, even if they're not an inventor, and to do so entirely properly. This may be done for various reasons. One of the most common is that the invention is made in the course of a person's employment and in circumstances such that the rights in it belong to the employer. The employer may then apply for the grant of a patent. But in cases like this, it is necessary to identify the person whom the applicant believes to be the inventor and to give an indication of how the applicant claims to have derived the right to be granted a patent for itself. Dr. Thaler was therefore asked by the Patent Office to file a statement of inventorship in respect of each application, identifying the person whom he believed to be the inventor and indicating how he derived the right to be granted the patent for which he was applying. It was in response to this request that Dr. Thaler made clear that the invention was in each case conceived by Dabas and that he was entitled to make the applications and to the grant of the patents because he owned that machine. The Patent Office was not satisfied with this information and explanation. It took the view, and the controller maintained after a hearing, that it fell short of what was required. Dr. Thaler had not identified anyone whom he believed to be the inventor, uh, even in general terms, and he had failed to give any proper indication of how he claimed to have derived title from any such person. An appeal by Dr. Thaler to the High Court was dismissed. Dr. Thaler appealed to the Court of Appeal, which by a majority dismissed his appeal. Dr. Thaler now appeals to the Supreme Court. Here we've been assisted by submissions made by the Chartered Institute of Patent Attorneys, in addition to those made by the parties. The submissions of the Chartered Institute were broadly supportive of the minority view in the Court of Appeal. Nevertheless, the Supreme Court decides unanimously that this appeal must be dismissed. We emphasize that this is not an appeal about whether technical advances made by machines powered by AI and acting autonomously ought to be patentable, <coughs> nor is it concerned with whether the meaning of the term inventor ought to be extended, so far as necessary, to encompass machines such as Dabas. These matters raise important policy questions about the purpose of a patent system and its role in promoting innovation. We are concerned instead with the proper interpretation of the relevant legislation, here the Patents Act 1977, and the rules by which that legislation is implemented. The outcome of the appeal turns on three issues. The first concerns the meaning of the term inventor in the 1977 Act and whether it encompasses a machine which is capable of acting autonomously. We conclude that an inventor must be a natural person. Only a person can devise an invention. This is the only reasonable interpretation of the relevant sections of the Act. Parliament did not contemplate the possibility that a machine acting on its own and powered by AI can be an inventor. It follows that on Dr. Thaler's own case, Dabas was not and is not an inventor. The second issue <coughs> is whether Dr. Thaler was nevertheless entitled to apply for and obtain a patent for any technical advance made by Dabas 
on the basis that he owned the machine. This court concludes that Dr. Thaler's case on this issue must also be rejected. The Act provides a code for deciding to whom a patent may be granted. It may be granted primarily to the inventor, and if not to the inventor, to a person who claims through the inventor. Here, Dr. Thaler faces an insuperable problem because Dabas is not and has never been an inventor. And Dr. Thaler has made clear that he is not an inventor himself. Dr. Thaler contends that he is nevertheless entitled to rely on the doctrine or principle of accession, and that he is the owner of technical developments made by Dabas in the same way as the farmer owns the cow and the calf. But an invention is not tangible property, and there is no basis for the application of the principle of accession in circumstances such as these. The final issue is whether the Patent Office was right to treat the applications as withdrawn. We conclude that it was. It was incumbent on Dr. Thaler, as an applicant, who, on his own case, was not an inventor, to identify a person whom he believed to be the inventor and to indicate how he derived title to the invention from that person. These were requirements that Dr. Thaler could not meet. Insofar as he was relying on Dabas as an inventor, a proposition which was itself flawed and legally impossible, he was required to indicate how he derived the right to apply for the patents. And that was something he was unable to do. It necessarily follows that the appeal must be dismissed. Thank you.